here again, Sam. It's great to see you. Good to see you again. It was uh, Lily Landowner. That's right. Yeah. That's me. Um, so last time you gave me some homework uh, to make a list of objectives for my meadow. Yeah, so what did you decide on? I think last time we were thinking that you wanted to support grassland birds. Well, since I can't support grassland birds on my meadow, since I don't have enough space, I've decided to design my meadow for pollinators. Wonderful. We can support all sorts of beneficial insects like pollinators by creating a meadow on your property. So I love the idea. Importantly though, now you got to tell me more about your site. So when we're working on creating a meadow, we need to focus on growing conditions. So how much light does this area of your property get? Well, I don't have any trees in my front lawn, so it does get a lot of sun. Okay, so a lot of sun. Would you say it's full sun? What does that mean? Uh, well, I would define full sun, at least for the sake of meadows, is uh, at least six hours of direct sunlight. Oh, then yes, definitely. Okay, okay great. How about uh, the soil moisture? Do you ever notice soggy areas of your lawn where there's puddles after a rain? Uh, or is it like really dry? What do you think? I have to water my lawn a lot to keep it nice and lush and green. I would say it's, it's pretty a dry area. Okay, so maybe a little bit of gravel, maybe a little bit of sands, less clay, and probably on the drier side of average. So that's easy. That's a nice upland meadow we can make for you. Oh, awesome. Well, that's great. Okay, what, oh, let's think about other important things. Like, you said this is your front lawn. So what's the general shape of it? Is it a big block? Is it uh, long and thin? What do you think? Uh, well, it's it's about shaped like my house, so it's, it's nice and square. Okay, so a big blocky meadow. That makes things easy. Um, and now, really importantly, something we often forget is are there any cultural restrictions? Like, do you have a homeowners association in your neighborhood? Are there certain regulations on how tall the vegetation can be, or how tall it can be from a certain distance to your house, or things like that? Um, well, I am I know there is a, a homeowners association in my neighborhood, but I'm not super familiar with them because I've had a lawn this whole time, so there's been no problems. Got it, well, let's not poke the bear. Uh, the most important thing for you to do is check on those regulations to make sure that there aren't rules that we might accidentally violate. And if there are like restrictions on how tall vegetation can be, we can help you work with that by selecting different plants. Now I've got a question for you. What are you looking for in terms of a meadow's appearance? I know you're, you're focused on helping pollinators and helping the planet, but this is also your yard. It's also a landscape feature. Are there any things that you want in terms of how it looks? Well, I definitely want something that I can see over. Okay, not too tall. Not too tall, yes. And um, I also really like the color purple, so I was hoping to include a lot of purple flowers. Great. Um, that's often where we start with landowners, right? Um, I like this particular flower. I like this color. And purple's easy. There's a lot of purple flowers that bloom all times of the year. So what we can do is help you design a meadow that's great for pollinators. So there'll be a lot of flowers in it. That's short, so you can see over it and it doesn't look messy in your neighborhood and you don't get in trouble. And something that has lots of color to it, so it's a beautiful landscape feature, especially purple. Does that sound good? Well, that sounds excellent. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'll see you next time. I can't wait to see what we talk about next time. <laughs> <laughs>